Kakadosh Boker Tov, we're continuing with the halachot of Taf Ayn Zayn of Dinaf Chilat Afikoman. Maram brings down that after the end of the Seudah, we are going to eat from the Matzah Shemura, which is underneath the Mapa, the Kazait Kol Echad, Zechel Lepesach and Nechal Alasova. And you have to eat it be Seba, but you do not make any Beracha. And you have to be careful to eat it also before Hasot. So if you remember, we brought down that it's not only just the Korban Pesach also, even the Halel should be done. Right, that means not only just the afikomen, even the halel should be done before chatzot. That's what's also brought down here in the, the Ramah. And the reason why is because since the Korban Pesach needed halel when you're eating it, so just like the afikomen, which is Zechel Korban Pesach, you have to do before chatzot, so to the halel which was said on the Korban Pesach should be done before chatzot. So rule number one, even though we say chatzot, which is I think 119 or 121, we come and we say the concept of chatzot, a person should be careful not only to eat the fikoman, but even to say the halel before the 119 this year. Another important halacha is that even though Maran says you take a kazait, the Mishnah Barah brings down that it's good to take two kazetim, one zechel pesach and one zechel lematzah nechel etimo. Meaning one of them was to remember the Korban Pesach. The other one was as, as uh, the remembrance of the matzah which was eaten with the Pesach. So therefore here you have the concept of having two kazatim or one kazait. Rav Vatia just says that it's enough to have one kazait as the majority of the Rishonim hold that all you have to do is one kazait. So technically you only have to have one kazait and you should have in mind both of them. Which is zechel matzah nechel Pesach and zechel Pesach and zichron echad olel lekan lekan. Then he does bring down that if it is that you're going to be machmir and have two kazatim, tavo alecha beracha, you should have a beracha. So that is going to be very, very important as well. Now, Bidiyavad, if you did not eat it, Beseba, so here it's brought down, you have to eat it again. So the, the Mishnah Barah brings down that you do not have to eat it again in Kashe Alava Achila, if it's going to be very difficult for him to eat. Now, if you remember, we did bring down a stira last year in the, in the Mishnah Barah, the one place he says that if you do not eat Beseba, if you come in, you do have to return. And you have to do it again. And here he's saying that if it's difficult for you, you don't have to. So we already brought down one answer then in the past of the Moshe Feinstein that it was, is that it all depends whether it's before Bikat Amazon or after Bikat Amazon. Before Bikat Amazon, you should eat it again. If it's already that you made Bikat Amazon, then you do not have to do again a Motsi, right? And then again, you're going to eat the Fikomen and then you would have to do it. So therefore, that's going to be one thing. But it is brought out in the Acharonim that a person should be very, very careful because if he's not going to do the Seba, technically speaking, again, he would have to come and do it again, especially according to the majority opinions. If it's before Bikat Amazon and he did not do a Seba, he would have to do it. So be very careful in doing a Seba when you're eating the Fikomen. The last, uh, the last Salacha is the Mishnah Bura brings down the name of Shra Kadosh. Ra'iti min b'nei aliyah. I saw B'nei Aliyah, Sheyu min Ashkina Matzot Vamaror, that they will come and kiss the Matzah Vamaror, and also the Sukkah, they will kiss the Sukkah when they're coming in and out of the Sukkah, and also the Arba Minim of the Lulav, and everything is going to be for Chibu Mitzvah, for appreciating the Mitzvah. Fortunate is the person that's going to come and serve Hashem, Besimcha. So he comes and he says, you should know that even though you're not allowed to give from the Korban Pesach to a Goy in Ararel, to a person that's uncircumcised and to a non-Jew, nevertheless, they're allowed to eat matzah and maror. And therefore, it's going to be permitted. And the same halacha would apply even, or it's a mitzvah even, to give somebody some mechalel Shabbat. The only difference is going to be is for a goy that you should not give them matzah mitzvah, which means, anyway, you're not allowed to have a goy for the seder. Forget about now, because it's Yom Tov, and you're not allowed to invite a goy for Yom Tov. So that's anyway, right, a different question in itself, that you're not allowed to have a goy your right, for Yom Tov meals, right, but even if it is that somehow he did get there, right, that the Goy is there, now you have another halacha, the Matzat Mitzvah, you're not allowed to give to a Goy, so if you're not allowed to give the Matzat Mitzvah to a Goy, that's another thing also that a person should be very, very careful that he's not giving any part of the Matzat Mitzvah, just like we spoke about, whether it's going to be Hamotzi or other things as well, so to here we have this as well, that a person should be very, very careful to be, that again, you're appreciating what it is, the Mitzvah, if you want to give him other Matzah that you didn't use as a Mitzvah, that's fine, but not the matzah mitzvah that you're using for the seder. That should not be used in order to come and to give to a goy.